Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of August. Uh, this is a, intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. Keep in mind that if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Okay? This is for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday. I could sing for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Leo. Happy birthday to you. You may be feeling a little out of sorts, okay? There's a little bit of sadness here, whether that's you or another person that you're dealing with that is bringing you down. This is a feeling of, you know, it's like a, a somber, you know? It's kind of like, mm, you know, that kind of thing. Like, think something isn't making you as happy as you would like. Uh-oh. Yikes, so something's bringing you down, Leo. And you're I think that you're restraining yourself from probably even communicating at this time. You know, this is in August, so you know, this is being recorded on what, the 28th of July. This could be going on now or it could come up sometime in August. You could be dealing with a water sign as well. This could be somebody that um is not emotionally available to you at this time or they're not opening up emotionally or they're being too emotional whatever is happening you're it's bringing you down okay it's it's affecting your self-esteem okay it's affecting your confidence in this dynamic whatever that dynamic there's a lack of teamwork a lack of togetherness here hmm something is not playing out the way that you'd like, okay? Something's unrealistic and dissatisfying. That's what this card means. It's not realistic. It's it's like dead, whatever it is. I mean, in some decks, this, the tree is dead, okay? The tree that the pentacle's on is dead. So something is, there's no growth in it. It's no matter what effort you put in, it's not going to grow, whatever that is. There's a lack of faith. Near somebody's not listening to their inner guide. Oh, my goodness. And it's like you're trying to avoid a disaster, but it can only be avoided for so long. This tower is going to happen. There is going to be some sort of, of change. Change is going to happen. And I think you're trying to... Stop it from happening. That's what this looks like to me. Mm. Let me zoom this in. So. You have to make a complex decision. Do you want to stay in this relationship or not? Is it, is it going to work out? Is there any growth left? It does. These two cards say there's no growth. There's no more fertility here. In both of these cards, they're both on the ends of this relationship and this decision. You need to make a decision. It's a complex one. In regards to this relationship, where there seems to be no more growth, no more passion, no more life. And I feel there's a lack of togetherness. There's also a lack of communication. It's clear. There's a lack of communication here. And it's like whoever you're dealing with could be a water sign. A water sign came up first. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's a lack of communication and there's a lack of com compromise. There's a lack of cooperation. Whoever you're dealing with, they, will prob they could use emotional blackmail to 
overpower you and to bring down your self-esteem, your self-worth, and your self-confidence. Okay? That's what this person will do in reverse. They will use emotional blackmail to bring down your self-confidence and your self-worth. Okay? I feel as though right now you have to make a decision whether, you know, you're going to let yourself be taken advantage of, whether you're being naive, whether you're ra acting recklessly or what. That the, the meanings I just named off are the meanings of this card in reverse. Naive, reckless, and being taken advantage of. I feel as though you're in a commitment with somebody that perhaps is it's falling apart. And I don't know who this is for, but it's like they're not really committed. This person may not be really as committed as you are. Okay, the commitment is here. There's you, and here's the other person. Now, I don't know. It could be anybody. This could be any sign, okay, taking on these energies. This is a water sign, but any one of us can take on these energies. This person plays the victim. They use that victim mentality to bring you down. Okay, I feel as though there is there is no growth in this situation and you probably know it, but you're trying to you're unable to let go with the strength reversed. You're unable to let go of this commitment, even though, you know, it feels as though you're being taken advantage of. You're trying to avoid a disaster, but this this is this is you're trying to avoid this breakup. The tower is like a breakup. It's a break apart. You're trying to avoid it. But I think that, you know. You can only avoid it for so long because eventually the tower is a universe card. The universe is going to step in. Other people can see that you're not listening to your inner guide. This is how other people see you. They can see that you are not listening. You're not listening to your inner guide. They can see that you're losing faith. They can see that, you know, you're not letting go of something that This is, in reverse, you're not believing in yourself. They can see that you're not believing in yourself. But you're still holding on because you haven't found this, the strength card, which is you, is reversed. You haven't found the strength to let go. You're still holding on because you don't believe in yourself. This person has made that happen. And you have to remove this obstacle. You'll be the, the Eight of Swords is lies. The Eight of Swords in reverse is lies. Obstacles need to be removed. From this situation you need to step outside of your comfort zone right now right now eight eight the time is now but you're in because these are both reversed you're not doing it right now but you're doing yourself an injustice there's lies <laughs> I mean there's lies there's absolutely somebody and whether it's you lying to yourself or somebody lying to you there's lies and for you cross watchers I'm gonna say it again we are not going to flip this this reading is for Leo Sun Moon rising and Venus some some Leo is being lied to or they are lying to themselves about a commitment okay about a commitment okay Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody doesn't want to own up to the truth. But eventually the truth is going to come out. And this is time, it's time to make a conscious change. The Ten of Wands reversed is a conscious change. To drop this baggage. To drop this burden. To drop this heavy weight. Heavy weight. Heavy weight. You guys are carrying a heavy, heavy weight around that needs to be dropped. Why are you carrying this weight? Because you don't love yourself? Because you don't want to deal with the pain? Like I told Taurus and I told Virgo. Taurus had it upright. Virgo had it reversed. And now you have it reversed. What happened? And this is a birth. The Empress is a birth. To, during a birth, you feel pain. But at the end of the pain... You receive a miracle. I don't want to feel the pain. I don't want to deal with the pain. I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough to do the right thing because I don't want to feel the pain. What is this complex decision about this relationship? Oh, is it about the security, the stability of the relationship? It's stable, it's secure. 
Yeah, it is. You don't want to give it up. You're persevering. You're holding on. Holding on to this relationship for dear life. Dear life. But it's really not as stable and secure as you think. There's jealousy issues. There's stubbornness. There's possessiveness. There's money problems. And there's some shady behavior. And the truth is eventually going to come out. Be careful. The truth is going to come out. Whether it's you or the other person. Somebody is, is doing something that is untrustworthy. And, and that is the damn truth. Okay? There's a mask. Somebody is wearing a mask. And there's also a lack of self-love. A lack of abundance, inner abundance. Somebody's bringing you down, Leo. You're letting them. This is ruin. Financial ruin. Financial mess. Too much chaos. A lot of imbalance. Is somebody spending all your money? I don't know. Or is it costing you money to impress this person? Because you, you feel like you're not worthy so you're buying all kinds of stuff for them or you're trying to make yourself look beautiful or you're trying to impress them, you know, with whatever it's costing you something is costing you money to impress perhaps another person or you're giving it to the, there's a loss of money here because there's a loss of self-love i think there's a, i'm trying to impress you with what i can offer you monetarily or via my looks or whatever It's a mask. The mask will come off. This is a mask. The mask will come off. You're, I think you're involved in a situation that is, is a dead end. It's time for you to come out of this period. It's time for you to speak up. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to bring peace of mind back to your life. It's time for a renewal. You're dealing with somebody who is has no follow through. The the Knight of Cups reversed is a water sign or it could be anybody else. We have water signs a couple times. Just saying. We also have Aquarius. But anyway, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have any follow through. They can talk the talk like the with the best of them. They are Prince Char. This is Prince Charming. It's Prince Charming with no happily ever after at the end. That's what this card is in reversed. It's someone that comes to sweep you off your feet, but is very secretive at the same time. And really isn't offering a long-term romance. Destiny is playing out. There's a change of course on the horizon. A new chapter is about to start. A new chapter is whatever is happening is bringing you closer to this new chapter. Whatever is happening here is bringing you closer. Like I said, pain brings a miracle. 
I do believe you guys are going through some sort of pain. But there is a new chapter that will begin soon. Woo! Yikes! You could be dealing with a fire sign in the future. A new chapter is going to begin soon with a fire sign or an air sign. But you have to be logical. You have to be strong. You have to be confident. You have to hold your head up high. You have to find your strength. You have to remain focused. And you have to be decisive. And you have to be able to look at things from a new perspective. You might have two options on the horizon. This could be you and this could be the other person. These can be men or women. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to wish fulfillment. But you have to be strong and you have to stand up for yourself. You have to stand up for yourself and you have to be logical. You have to stand up for yourself. You have, I said stand up for yourself here. This is defend yourself. Defend yourself. That's what this, this is what this wheel wants. When you defend yourself, you stand up for yourself. You speak your truth. You find the confidence to do so. The wheel is going to bring you something very, very good. But you have to prepare yourself for it. You have to focus on the future. You have to be patient and wait for your right ships to come in. If you're impulsive, which somebody has been, there's the likelihood that you might get on the wrong ship. This is turning your back on something. On the fighting, on the pettiness, on the drama, on the game. I know that you're reluctant to do so, but as soon as you stop playing the game and you let go of this tug of war game, this game, as soon as you let it go, you will feel instant relief. You have to release the past. You have to forgive. Forgive yourself. Forgive the other person. And restore your faith. There's a lot of karma here. The Justice card, the Wheel Fork card, and the Judgment card. In many decks, this card is labeled Karma. Justice is labeled Karma in some. In the Wheel of Fortune, that's Karma as well. Karma, Karma, Karma. This is a karmic situation that is trying to teach you what you have deep down inside. Strength. But you ain't found it yet. Because you're involved in a situation that has no growth. And you're being called to stand up for yourself, to defend yourself. This is a wake-up call. This is an awakening. Wake up. The truth is about to re be revealed. The truth... The truth is about to be revealed. It truly is. Whether it's you revealing it, the universe revealing it, the other person revealing it, some sort of truth or secret is going to be revealed that changes your life for the better. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to protect yourself. You're going to have to you're going to have to find the confidence and the strength and the courage to hold your head up high and do what's right for you and stop playing this tug of war game. So that you can get what you deserve. You're going to have to make a decision, Leo. It is. This is a month of decision in regards to a relationship. You have an opportunity, perhaps, between two options. Two people. There's a new door waiting for you to go through it. Are you going to go? The choice is yours. The whole world is right in front of you.
You may, this may be a sudden decision. You may suddenly decide to leave. Whatever is happening right now is, is bringing about a feeling of detachment, withdrawal, lack of contentment, and restlessness because you have to make this decision and you're not quite strong enough even though you know that you need to. You know that somebody's weighing you. I can see the heavy weight. I can. Something is weighing you down. And until you make the do the right thing, this is noble. When you until you do the right thing, it's just going to get heavier and heavier and heavier. And it's time to drop that weight. Drop it. Drop it. Leo. I don't know why I'm flipping these. This is for Leo. Well, we might as well take them, right? Keep an open mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a good one, huh? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This card usually tells me that your soulmate is not who you think it is. It's not who you think it is. Ooh, past life relationship. You have known each other before. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And that's what you've been doing, right? Maybe you give it one last hurrah. But at maybe at the end of the month, you just made, this is a sudden change. So you suddenly decide. I don't know. It's up to you. Well, let's get you one of these. You know, this if you're single, this card can be you have a, you have, you probably have a new opportunity coming in. You do with the wheel of fortune. Good something good is coming. And this could be with somebody that you don't expect, somebody that's not your usual type, and you're being called to give it a chance. I see two options here. A fire sign and an air sign. With somebody you've known before, but you may not know them yet. Do you know what I'm saying? You've known them in a past life and you're being called to give this new person a chance. Oh my goodness. Self-respect. Respect yourself. Oh my God. You're the best judge of what's right. Respect yourself, Leo. I think you're dealing with the wrong one. And with that three of, uh, of wands, it's like... You have an opportunity waiting for you. You do. But I think you got on the wrong ship. That's what I think. I could be wrong. Talk to you later.